In today's video, I'll talk about some more free plugins that I use on my projects to make me design easier and faster. If you haven't checked out part one, I'll leave the link somewhere on the screen. Let's jump straight into it. The first plugin is called Mockup Plugin. And here you can find a bunch of catalog for mockups. I wanna quickly create a mockup for my design here. So what you wanna do is just go to the search bar and they have some free and paid ones. So you can turn on the free filter and you can also filter by category. If you need some branding mockups, you can just click that. And they have billboards, poster, coffee cups. They also even have duct tape mockups. So I'm gonna change this to devices because I want some phone mockups for my design. Here you can find a bunch of different devices, some laptops, Apple watches. Let's say I wanna use this one. So just click on the one that you like. You can adjust the color of the mockup and click plus to add the design to the image. So I'll select this layer and you can also zoom or crop a little bit. Once you're happy with that, just click crop. You can also change the dimension of the image. If you turn on layered, this means that the pasted image will be layered. The actual iPhone frame and the mockup design is gonna be in separate layers. I'll just turn that off and click paste. And there we have it, the mockup pasted on the canvas. So this is a really quick and great way for you to present your designs, be it for client presentation or for your own design portfolio. The next plugin is called Vector Logos. And this is where you can find some SVG logos for your design projects. So you can just search for any companies. For example, I want a McDonald's logo. And they also have a lot of different variants of the same company here. If I want to do Stripe, you can see all the different variants of the Stripe logo. And if you like one, just click on that and it'll paste on the canvas as SVG. So you can even edit the color here. You can distort the shape if you need to. This is how I usually find logos quickly whenever I need them for my designs or for mock-up purposes. But if you need a logo for placeholder instead of a famous company, you can go to another plugin called Logo Ipsum. You can find here a bunch of placeholder logos. Again, in SVGs, you can filter by categories. They have circular, curvy, geometric, and to use any of them, just click on one and it'll be pasted onto the canvas as well. Again, these are SVGs, so you can just edit the color here. If I want this to be white and the green part to be black, then I can do that. So those two plugins are my go-to for logos. The next one is called Noise and Texture. They have a catalog of patterns and background textures. You can see some of the different ones here. And you can add this quickly to your design. So you can play around with the size, some of these other properties. You can adjust the color. If I want it to be red, adjust the opacity as well, the blending mode. And once you're happy with it, you can export them as image or code. They have a couple of different options here, which you can just copy or you can paste them directly to the canvas like so. And it's pasted as static image. They also have some animated ones. So you can see here some of the different animated effects. Same thing with the patterns. You can also adjust some of the properties here. So some of them you can play around with the color, some of them you can't. It changes the properties here, changes depending on which animation you have selected. And let's say I wanna use this one, let's change this color to maybe a dark one. Once you're happy with it, if you click add to canvas, it'll just paste as static images. So I'll do that. And you see that the animation is not gonna work. If you click on export, however, you can export them as video, you can adjust the duration or you can export them as code. So this is what I've done before. You can just copy the iframe code and embed that to your website. And the last one for today is called Figmap. Figmap is really great when you need a map interface and you're building a mobile app or web app which the user needs to interact with a map. So you can just pull out this plugin, search for a place that you want to be displayed. Um, let's type in Mexico City. So just click there. It'll take you to the location that you've input here. You can change the map style here. They have a couple of different styles. Light version, dark version, some satellite view, some navigation view, 
So let's just go with the dark mode for now. Adjust the zoom over here. You can adjust the pitch, which is basically how flat is the map. I'm just gonna leave it at zero. And the bearing is basically the rotation here. Again, I'm gonna leave this at zero. So once you're happy with that, you can just change the width and height of the image that you want to paste. Let's go back to 800. Just click on draw map to Figma and it'll paste as static image. Now I have this map image that I can use for my interface. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found at least one of the plugins helpful. If you do, please give it a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one.